Hey guys, Clay, welcome to the wild side. And this week we're talking about an Amazon species that you have not seen up close before. Can you hear that sniffing in the background? That's because you have to wait to the intro to find out what we have. Here it is, a giant anteater, native of the Amazon in South America. Now these incredible animals can be seen moving through the, well, what a lot of people wouldn't understand is kind of the savannas of South America, moving through the grasslands looking for termite mounds. Look at this tongue, look at that. Their tongue can be 18 to 24 inches long and they can flick it 150 times per minute. Now right now, he's eating a concoction of different vegetables, but these animals will feed on termites. They'll feed on ants. And what they'll do is they'll use their big front claws, rip open the termite mound, and then start probing it with their tongue. Pulling bugs back into their mouth. Now, their feet might look familiar because these animals have a close relation to that of the sloth or the armadillo as far as the feet structure goes. Now, giant ant eaters like this can use those feet to also defend themselves. But look at this amazing face, this amazing mouth going into this super long giraffe-like tongue. Now, outside of the insectivores that these animals will typically eat, they can eat on a variety of other little things like this, like slopping up. Now, these incredible creatures can be found all throughout the Amazon rainforest, but you can find them very easily if you come to the Abilene Zoo right here in Abilene, Texas. Visit abilenezoo.org and donate to this amazing organization. I can't thank them enough for the collaboration that we've done here together uh, on uh, quite a few species. You're going to see the videos rolling out right here on YouTube. Now the giant anteater has some very coarse hair. Look at this hair right here. Now they can use that coarse hair to help to actually protect themselves by camouflaging. Their tail is about as long as their body. And what they'll do is they'll curl their tail up and hide like that. And you can't see them. And they're tucked in the grass and you'll never be able to find them. That's how these animals camouflage from their predators because a jaguar would love to take a bite out of an anteater. But also the locals tend to be an issue for the giant anteater, but they are afraid of this species because of those feet. Look at those feet with those pads and that big front claw that can really do some damage to anyone or any animal trying to mess with a giant anteater. Now when these animals have babies, the babies are super, super cute. And they kind of cling on to mom, no literally, they cling on to mom. They hang onto her back like a jockey in a, in a horse race. They hang on tight and that keeps them safe because the anteater like this looks just like uh, it's, it's grasslands around them. And with the baby riding along the back, it's able to protect itself uh, by concealing the baby amongst that imposing adult figure. Now, because of loss of habitat, uh, remember, every hour that ticks by in the rainforest, we lose a football field length of rainforest. Because of loss of habitat, trapping, hunting, these animals have moved from least concerned to vulnerable with declining populations. But the Amazon is declining in general. You can help the giant anteater just like this by reducing what you use recycling and being better stewards of our environment. Together, we can bring the rainforest back, but it's gonna take this generation, the next generation, and the generation after that to make it happen. Come together, world, come together and help the Amazon. And places like this, the Abilene Zoo, are doing amazing work because the folks here in West Texas, maybe they don't have a chance to see the species from the Amazon. What would they care if the Amazon disappeared? We're all connected. And I'm so thankful the Abilene Zoo is helping to educate the folks here in West Texas, North Texas, Central Texas, the United States, the whole North American continent, and the world about this amazing animal species. So please support your local zoos and aquariums. And if they're nonprofit, donate. You can donate to this one by going to abilenezoo.org and help them continue their mission to help wildlife and educate all the folks that visit them each and every year. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in this week to the wild side. As always, I've been Clay, at least I think I have been. You can always tune right back here into YouTube next week when we'll highlight yet another of your favorite species. Now, if you can, for, do me a favor. Go to the social media channels and search for the Abilene Zoo. Give them a like, give them a follow, give them a subscribe. 
see what they're doing here at the zoo because they are evolving at warp speed. And also, find us on social media. Do the same for us and subscribe right here on YouTube. Until next week, everybody, stay wild, conservation rules, and we'll see you next week when we highlight yet another of your favorite species. Until then, I'm going to try to go move my tongue 150 times a minute. Bye.